Hey guys, happy Friday. I've got so much good stuff to show you. I went to Ulta last night, or it wasn't last night. It feels like last night to me. It was right around five o'clock and got a lot of new stuff. And then I have some really good Walmart stuff I want to show you. I want to wait and just do a whole Walmart video, but I can't wait because it will get sold out. Okay, let's start with that. I wore this the other day and you know what? I did not even realize that that is adjustable. Well, that makes me feel better because this sucker was too big for my head when I was at the pool and it kept flying off and I thought, I've got a big head. How can this be too big for me? So that is why. So I just think that is cool. It's kind of like a combination of the cool cowboy hat look, but still a sun hat with just a little bit of, what am I trying to say, vibe right here. Just that, you know, you know, I love like those beads and I love that color. Kind of like malachite, is it? That might be wrong, but I love this. So if you are into summer hats like I am, some of these I'm thinking are the same that I had last year. And at the end of last summer, I had this whole basket full of hats. So I gave a lot of them away. And I think these might be almost the exact same ones. So this is one size fits all, but a fabulous bucket hat. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. This is the kind that, okay, what I'll do is I'll take all my hair and I'll stuff it up in here. And then I'll have it like this. And that way I can still get a little bit of sun on my shoulders, but you'll be amazed. It does still like guard your neck and everything. Love it, love that it's black. At the beginning of the summer, I'll be able to wear that until it gets too hot and then black will not be good. And all of these are adjustable. And it's good to know that I really do have a big head and that they are even too big for me. So if you have a big, big head and lots more hair, you'll know they're gonna, oh, how cute is that? How cute, and you have to wear them like that. I love it, I love it. Okay, I, sh I tell you, I'm like a kid. I still get excited over all this stuff. Okay, so this does have the adjustable. This is more of that same boho look as the white one, but not as floppy. Oh, that one is cool. This one is really gonna look good. So what you could also do is, like if you're at the beach, because at the beach, your hats always fly off. That's why I always end up wearing baseball caps or visors because your ponytail kind of holds them on. You could also maybe do that with that tie. I don't know if you'd want to, but there's just, I don't know if you guys remember that one year I paid up for a beach hat. It was this, that, sunscreen. I don't even wear it. I just don't think there's any reason to pay a lot for a pool or a beach hat because I think they're so much fun. And if you're like me and you like changing it up, you will love those. And then this top, I just got this stuff, so I haven't tried it on yet, but I feel pretty good about this. Look how cool that is. This with a white suit and nude shoes or this with your denim on denim, your Britney Spears look with Justin Timberlake, Paris Hilton, Jessica Simpson. That's what I always think of. I guess it's early 2000s, but love this. Denim also looks really good with black. So you could take this with a really nice black pair of pants, pencil skirt, and then put this with it and then put whatever jacket, a blazer over it. I would keep it at two colors. I wouldn't go this, this, and this. I would keep it maybe nude or even a pin, my pinstripe navy blue blazer over it, something like that. But I just thought it would be fun to play with. And um, it's no boundaries. That's one of, time and true and no boundaries. Like I, I do like Scoop, Sofia Vergara, Free Assembly. Free Assembly's gotten a little bit, not as much my taste, but I can always find good stuff with time and true and no boundaries. Okay, oh, and this, my mom's on her way over. I'm gonna give her this. I wanted to try it on for you, but it just hasn't happened, but look at this one piece bathing suit. When I opened it, Brooke said, that looks like Baywatch. But I know it's like Mama Baywatch, Mama Pam Baywatch, because it's got the really nice built-in boob cups. It's got a full, but not a, not a grandma. Well, even if you are a grandma, wear this bathing suit. I don't know how to, I hate to even use that term because grandmas are different these days. Um, I could be a grandma. I could be a skimpy grandma, 
but this one has a fuller bottom, but not too full. You know, I, I think when you try to go too straight across or too full at the bottom, unless you do a little skirt. I remember one time going to the water park. We would all meet there, take our little ones. Brooke was probably four at this point because Will was a baby. And you know how it is. Seems like you all have one or two little ones and then you have a baby. And we would sit in a group with our babies while our kids played in the little kitty park. And one of the girls, oh my gosh, she was good looking. She had a killer body and she would wear a bikini that had just a regular top, but it had like a little skirt bottom. She looked amazing, amazing. So I do think you can really look good and sexy in that look but you have to, it has to be cut just right. But this one I just think is a phenomenal suit. So I'll let you know how my mom likes it. And if I get a chance, the thing is she's on her way right now, but if I get a chance, I will try it on for you. The thing is, I'm scared. I don't have my tan going on. Okay, another bathing suit that I got, you know, and I, I've, I wouldn't have done this, but I stumbled upon this, I haven't worn it yet. I stumbled upon this actual style on Revolve. Last year, I had the Hunza G bikinis. I wore, I love them. There's, there is no dupe. There is no dupe. I've tried them all. The Amazon one, the Walmart one, the Abercrombie one, the Old Navy one. I've tried them all trying to get a dupe for this. It's one size fits all. When Brooke was helping me unpack the box, she was like, who's this for? And she said, Our, my niece. It's so stretchy, so soft, and this one has a fuller bottom than the one I had last year. So I got it in this and the lavender, and I wore the lavender the other day, and I loved it. I loved it. The bandeau top is back. Look, seamless. It is just so comfortable. It was really, I would say, pretty full coverage for the top. Much more full than my last one. No regrets. I love these love them like they are a go-to bathing suit for me and i know they're a little expensive but they're worth it they are i've even accidentally washed them in my washing machine i didn't dry it but it even survived that so let me right now let's do an outfit of the day because i want to show you the pants that i have on these are what i'm most excited about and then i've got two pair of new shoes so let me let me show you those first okay inez gifted me this new style that they have. These are comfortable heels. That is what they specialize in. It says made in Spain. I get my true size. Anytime you see me go anywhere to any special event where I know I have to walk, stand on my feet for a pretty good amount of time, I will be wearing one of their shoes. Their platforms are my favorite. I think I have three different colors if not four, and I have purchased some on my own. See how they have the rubbery bottom, they have arch support, and they have more give. So these, I don't even know, I will put the style right here. I can't remember what they're called, but I wanted to try both of these on for you. So these are a little bit more expensive, but honestly, in the whole scheme of designer shoes, they are so much more comfortable than most any designer shoe. Definitely more comfortable than Stuart Weitzman and le less expensive. Honestly, I don't think you'll regret these. I feel if you are if you don't mind paying a little bit higher, I think they're in the 200s to 300, they will last you. I do not think you will regret it. And I can say that after wearing them many years. The first pair I ever got is when they first came out. I don't, if you've been here, you remember the green suede ones I had and they, they're just comfortable. So this is a new pair of shoes. Okay, bonus points because I could put them on without unbuckling them. Why do I do stuff like this? But that just makes a difference to me. Okay, so let's show you these first. Okay, I have already worn this shirt once this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but I love it so much. It's a Coke shirt. I wish it was Diet Coke, but it's Coca-Cola and it says the real thing and I love, like, it's very soft, very fitted, the perfect crop. I just love it. Now, in my picture, I was actually wearing the Pammy 
Pam times redone jeans. And I'm going to feature those in my upcoming, I promise, my upcoming Bloomingdale's unboxing. And I am wearing the 27. I'll put the picture right in here. They are loose. They're my favorite fit. That's what I recommend. But if you're someone who doesn't like loose jeans, I did get the size 26. And I will put the picture in here. So you can see the 26 fits. It's just not my favorite kind of fit. These are from Walmart. And I love them. I love them. I think that they are, I mean, they. I don't know if they could get any better. They have this little tie at the bottom where you could cinch the bottom in a little bit more if you want. These are the perfect little casual pants to put with anything. Your flip-flops and a sweatshirt, your tank top and heels, your wedge, anything. I love them. They're soft. They're inexpensive. This is what you need to get. I promise you. Uh, you will love these. And then I got another pair. Where are they? Here they are. Okay, these are time and true high rise wide leg crop. Same. These are going to, of course, have the wide leg, but the wide leg looks good with so many types of shoes. I, I will try these on for you and put the picture in here. Look, look at this. You can take naps in this. You can wear these on a road trip. You can dress these up. You can make them casual love. It does have the patch pockets. I see on the picture, she's got them with little tennis shoes. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's expected. Do a little heel. Even do a really cool pair of Birkenstocks or something. When you have this crop wide leg, it really does feature your ankles like a really pretty part of your body. So do that. But these, these are the must-haves of the week for sure. Okay, next... We're gonna try these on. These come in, I think, three colors from Scoop. Aren't they cute? Okay, I have not worn these yet, so let me put them on and we will continue. Okay, I can tell you these are very, very comfortable, very bendy, and you know, a wedge is always good. I will say they do have the ankle strap, so I would get the nude. If you have just beautiful, thin legs with thin ankles, then the black and the other colors are great. But I like, if I have an ankle strap, I like them to be nude shoes. So, oh my gosh. Okay, these pants, these shoes, and your top of choice. This is going to be a cool everyday outfit that makes you look fashionable, elevated, will make you feel good, make you feel fancy. I think you would love it. I just, I can't say enough about these. I'm going to see what other colors these are in, available in. Oh my gosh, the beauty is they're time and true. And time and true usually stay in stock longer. Oh my gosh, okay. Winner of the week for sure. Okay, yay, I'm so excited about that. Okay, another winner. I did a collaboration with Summer Fridays. Now, I've always loved their lip conditioners. That is what I have upstairs on my desk and that's what I always use during the day when I want a lip conditioner but I had never tried the jet lag overnight I I think it says serum yeah serum and so I, as soon as I as soon as they asked me did I want to collaborate with them I was like yes I'd love to try that you guys know I love different eye creams the only thing that sketched me out a little bit was the word serum you guys this is so good okay first of all I love not having to dig my fingernail and do this to put my eye cream on. I love that it is in this tube and it is the most, um, let me try to, balmy feeling. It is, I don't know, I wish I could explain it to you better. It's just beautiful feeling. I've worn it at night. I've worn it under makeup. It really is balmy and velvety feeling. It is just beautiful. And I know they're known for their jet lag mask for like deep hydration. I noticed they had a trial size and a regular, but I don't have dry skin, so I had never tried it. This is amazing, not sponsored, don't have to show it to you, but I was just really impressed. Sometimes when I do these, I find the best stuff. This is amazing. Okay, like I said, I went in Ulta last night 
And the sweetest girl, when my daughter, Brooke, used to work there at the Brow Bar at Benefit. So Brooke knows a lot of people in there. And I know a lot of people in there because I'm in there all the time. Well, I had like a helper, a personal shopper, and I just asked her, show me everything that's new. Well, this is new, and it is the Anastasia Beauty Balm Serum Boosted Skin Tint. I knew this was not going to be for me, but I feel like I'm here to try new things and to at least tell you about it. So the color she got was spot on. So if you are a color, what a shade sister with me, number 10 was perfect. And I tried it this morning. I thought, you know, I might be surprised, who knows? But I could tell I was not gonna be happy. And I don't think you should waste one day, not one day with makeup you don't like on. Wash it off. I didn't even really have to wash this. It just came right off. It's just too emollient for my oily skin. But here it is. And I will say it was very easy to put on. But just as soon as I, either with a sponge or with the It Cosmetics brush, just as soon as I tried to just easily blend it in or spread it, it very quickly sheared out. So this would be good for you, though, if you don't need a lot of coverage and you want something quick and you want to throw it in your purse. I do think it's very pretty. It's yummy. It didn't really accent my pores. I mean, it's a good stick and it's supposed to have great, you know, ingredients in it and all of that other stuff, but it's just not going to be for me. But now I know and now I can tell you. So that was a little bit of a downer, but you guys, is this new? They're marketing this as new. I thought I've tried this before. I, it's It CC Natural Matte SPF 40. We tried several different shades. This one is perfection. It's what I've got on today. When I put it on from the first swipe, from the first pump, it, it was just like, yes. If you like what I like, you're going to like this. I did not use a, has a pump. I did not use a primer because I want to see how this acts. But look at this yummy goodness. I mean, it is beautiful. It is just so good. Okay, my mom's pulling up, so I'm going to take a small break and visit with her, and I'll be right back. Okay, my mom's here, and she is making some coffee, so we're going to finish up real quick so that I don't get out of whack here and what I want to show you. So, okay, then there are two new setting sprays out. First, I saw this one when I came in, and I was intrigued because this primer is very, very, very close to the Milk Grippy Primer. So, um, what you do, let's see, it's called Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. It's like in this dual form. Mama, don't worry if you make noise. <laughs> what I could not believe is you guys, look at this sprayer. Mm. The scent, not much scent at all. So what I did is I did this side of my face with this one and just did maybe two different sprays. And then I used this one on the other side. This is the Marshmallow Setting Spray Matte Finish Makeup Setting Spray. So this one, I expected this one to have a better sprayer, but it's not quite as good. I wouldn't say it's like a bad one. It's just, you know, not as good as that one. And then I use this on this side. So can you tell a difference with these sprays? I did, you know, dry my face in the space heater that was right underneath me because I've always got that on low when I'm getting ready. And so let me know, but both of them were good. Like I'm not returning them. I'm going to use them. I think they were good. I'm really excited about this because if I can get something that helps my makeup stay on even better at the pool, at the beach, during a hot day here where it's humid, that is a win. Okay, you guys, you just, you have to try this. I think that's what we were just talking about. It's good. I'm excited. I'm excited. This was, I put this on first. This was kind of a bummer. And then I tried this and it is just really good. And it is not too matte. It is a natural matte. Maybe the one that I'm thinking of was just all matte. I'm not sure, but really excited about that. Too Faced had come out with some new contour sticks. So the color we chose for me is Chocolate Souffle. And if you like contour sticks, you are going to love this. First of all, it smells so much like makeup and lip balms and stuff like that that we used to have when we were little. It's got a strong, strong, strong. Like if you don't like the smell of chocolate, you're not going to like this. 
and it is this color is perfect goes on beautifully and I thought it blended out really well too so I'm wearing this today first all along my hairline everything very good I mean just as good as the only thing to me that could make that better is I do like how like Fenty has like the rounded top instead of the flat but I did notice I put it on first you know like a stick I used my IT Cosmetics double-ended brush to, that is, can you hear that? That's John's vacuum cleaner in the garage emptying out. Then I used the brush to blend it out. And then I realized, I think I like with this type of shape, I prefer taking the brush and just, you know, pouncing on the stick. And that was good. Did my jawline and everything. But if you don't like cream blushes, I picked this up last minute in the line. The girl had to wait for me to pick which one I wanted. It's the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. It is beautiful, gorgeous. So this, I think, is the majority of what you see because I really did keep the other to a contour. Then I went in with this. Now I will say that it's soft, but look at that. It's definitely a must try. And there are so many shades. I bet there were over 10 shades so no matter what your skin tone is you are going to be able to find one of those let's see if i can i mean today was a good makeup day a good try on day just really really pretty okay now let's get into some lips i think this may be new i don't know i this isn't my favorite formula of lip liner but i was intrigued it's the nyx you know just like pencil lip liner but everybody else seems to love these. I think that they're kind of like a brow product. They don't swatch very well, but this is what I have on. And today it, I think it went on well. Does anything I got have a mirror on the top? I don't think so. Let me see. Nope. That, see, it doesn't matter, but that's how, that's why drugstore makeup can be cheaper. Yeah, I learned about packaging a little bit when I was doing my lip liner and my lipstick with Christian Audette. Every little thing like the mirror at the top or a little brush that you never use, those are the things that do make um, products more expensive. So you'll notice that's what they will be missing. But I do have a pretty high-end product over here that probably has a mirror in it. This is the Nude Envy Powder Blush in Enamor. They sent me a fabulous package this week. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And a mirror. So let's see if I can show you. Yep. And let me swatch it for you. This color is actually called coffee. <laughs> your favorite, your favorite thing, Mama. And it's, I'm surprised because it's kind of pink, but a really good color. You know, you guys are always asking me what is a good, if you're new at lip liners, what's a good one? I think this one would be good. I'm not sure how long this is going to last. I'll have to let you know. And then the lip that I have on with it is the Tarte. They've got the new Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyl. Could have sworn I've seen these, but she said they were new. It's the sheer petal that I got, which was the lightest one. And that is what I have on my lips now. And it is, let me tell you, it is, I hate to say goopy, but it's goopy. This one is sheer for sure. So that is what I have on. So let me wipe this off and we're going to try a couple of other things that I have to show you. Okay, now I was just thinking, no wonder I like this. The girl that was helping me at Ulta, she said, oh, have you tried the Daisy Wild? And I know that this Daisy perfume, just people love it. It is, when I really got into fragrances, this is a bestseller. This is like a top rated. So she showed me this and I might have to go back now and get the full bottle because it is so pretty. I mean, look at it. It's actually got stems going down in the bottle, but they had the mini sprayer. So I got it, I've got it on today, and it's, okay, it's happy. It's fresh, it's happy, it's, it's kind of like a nostalgic, like when I first smelled it, it reminded me of almost like bubble bath when I was little, like I don't know if it was Mr. Bubble or what it was. It almost has that kind of scent to it, and it, they describe it as green, fruity, floral. 
So you're getting a little mix of all. Woman's Fragrance featuring vibrant blend of banana blossom, jasmine, and vetiver. I can tell. Top notes, banana blossom accord, middle jasmine and macadamia accord, base sandalwood and vetiver disable. Okay, this is worth trying. This is different. This isn't vibey. This isn't boyfriend. This isn't sexy. This is summer, everyday, running errands, smells sweet, good, and I love it. Okay, definite, definite bubble bath in the beginning and it's not like the what it, there's an expensive one that's called bubble bath it's not like that it's not soapy I think it's the fruity banana that might be it but oh my gosh it smells so good it's a happy it is a very very happy scent and I am putting together now a list of 20 Mother's Day gift ideas so I would say this would be a good one. This is one of those fragrances I can't imagine anyone not liking. The only person that wouldn't like this would be someone, it's kind of like a wine connoisseur. You know, they aren't going to like your average buy at the grocery store bottle of wine because they're just so far past that. Like the true, true fragrance fanatics may not like it because it's too um, cheerful and sweet and everything, but I think your average everyday mom, you, daughter, mother-in-law, this is not going to offend anyone. This is going, I think men would like this too because it's sweet and kind of fruity, but it, yet it still has that little bit of deepness to it. It's not like Escada or something like that. Really good. Okay, my mom likes it too. Mama approved. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury. I will tell you, I don't know if I would have gotten this even though I should know, it's called Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Guys. I'm super size, maximize. And I got the classic Pillow Talk in medium fair. And then when I got up to the counter, she said, ooh, I heard that is gives you a real sting. So I would, let's do it. Let's do it. It has a really nice, pretty package, of course, like they, like Charlotte always does. And then I do like that it's, look how creamy and pretty it is. Like as soon as I looked at the color, I knew I was gonna get it. They're probably putting the combination of it being a little bit burning and it being this formula because you know, anytime you have this slick formula like this creamy, it kind of fills in your lines and it creates that shine and gives the illusion of them being bigger too. So wish me luck. Very pretty already starting to sting. Not like Too Faced. It's not stinging like a bee stinging. It's like a combination of the pepperminty sting and a regular, but not bad. Okay, if you don't like Buxom glosses, Buxom Celeste, and all those that have that little bit of plumping with the mint, then you won't like it. But it is really pretty. Hmm. So far, it is not burning so bad that I'm like dying to take it off, but it is... Like I can feel it on the inside, especially. It is burning a little bit. Okay, then, why well, you blot this off? Then they had two, like a whole new butter gloss series. So I got the two that, you know, most spoke to me, which would be a peach. Oh, I think we're gonna like this. So that's dripped out. They had like a hot pink and, you know, a brown and stuff like that. This one I was on the fence about, but I went ahead and got it just because I thought these might be good toppers. Okay, bring the bling. This is more of your goldy color and it is true gold. So, hmm, let's do the gold. We'll do them both. Let me use this little mirror. Okay. It does not feel gritty or anything like that. It feels just as smooth as any of the butter glosses. And I think it is very, very pretty, even on its own. I think this is worth it. It's not very expensive. And I think it would look really good over, not much scent at all. I think it would look really good over another color. Let's try this one. <laughs> okay, so you can see how much more color is in that Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the other one, the peachy one. What is it called? Dripped out. <laughs> okay. I love that. 
Okay, so what are we seeing here? There's not a lot of actual color, so I would use this as a topper unless you just want a little bit of something for your lips, or this would be good for young girls too, like high school, college, you know, that don't wanna look made up, but just wanna put a little something on their lips, you would like this. So no regrets at all with that. Okay, let me show you what Nude Envy sent me. You know how much I love their lipstick in love? Oh my gosh, that's like one of my, will be one of my best finds of the year. So I showed you their blush they sent me in Enamor. Let me swatch it. Oh, see, I'm going to like this. See how it's kind of light? I'm going to love this. So I'll be using these soon, which is hard to use everything. And then this I love. This is the eyeshadow in Destiny. Now see this is nice expensive. I know this, the suede cardboard. I know all the stuff now. And even, I believe even their eyeshadows, yeah, have the mirror top, but look at this color, how pretty that is. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. That is like a really, really good crease color. This reminds me of the J-Lo look with Scott Barnes and Tati. Remember how they used this type of color? And I was hooked. It was that NARS palette. They don't make it anymore. I was hooked on this color. So I'm looking forward to trying that. It looks so good when you put it in the crease and then you put it over the liner. And then I think you do put a little bit under. That is beautiful. And then the eyeshadow in Dazzle. Ooh, okay. This is a little bit of a darker one. This is the one that's going to look good. Same concept, same color. This is going to be the one you use over the liner. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me know down below if you want a look with these because that's something different. I mean, I'll, I'll still do it my style, of course, and to fit my eyes, but that's just a different tone that I'm used to using. And then speaking of different tones, they sent me some of their lip lipsticks. And this one, there was, I know there was one, okay, Belong, that is a different tone. But all of her lipsticks are some type of nude. Even if they're a little bit darker nudes, if they're shimmery, she even has the really light ones like we like. So this is Belong. Too dark for me, but still a very pretty color. But you guys are asking me all the time for a little bit darker. Like if you have dark hair and you like a little bit more color, darker skin, you would love that. And then this one is Radiate. This is us. And this is her newer collection. And does this one, I don't know if this one's gonna have any sparkle in it or not. As you can see, I'm, okay. That is something I've got to try, hold on. This is gonna be my color. Perfect. I can't believe I haven't tried this before. This makes me so happy. This is kind of like the showstopper, but it has, see how it has more sheen? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, love that. So excited for that one. Winning lip, lip product of the video for sure. Joey, okay, Joey is a collaboration with the beauty professor, Rachel, who we love. I know you all love her because there is, nothing not to love about her. She is gorgeous. She's smart. She's sweet. She's everything. So this is Joey. She named it after her, after her daughter. This has a little bit more color in it than love and the last one that I showed you, but it's still along the same lines. Like this would be, for those of you that don't like them this light, this is a good step up and still peachy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then the last one is in the Berry Nudes. It's another collection. And this one is called Believe. This one has a little bit of that mauve tone that sometimes can be really cool because it can look very Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Yes, kind of like that good nude that is just a, a different color. And keep in mind, I'm not even using I think she sent me her Timeless Lip Liner, which I've already told you guys how much I love her lip liners. I think Elegant 
favorite? What's my favorite? This one's a little bit lighter, but let's use it. Okay, so that's the Timeless Lip Liner, and this is the Believe. It's a cool tone. Okay. Wowza. So glad I tried that on. Love it. This would be a good topper, too, just to go on top of a lipstick that needs some pizzazz. So thank you so much to the Nude Envy team for sending these to me. I love them. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. So my earrings, I just got on some favorites today. They're my large signature studs from Dean Davidson. The small castle ring from Dean Davidson. And that is it. So thank you guys so much for being here. And I will leave all this stuff down below, any information, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.